The day starts early at the Coram Deo Orphanage in Port-au-Prince. This safe haven is home for 11 children who would otherwise have nowhere to turn. They're up at 6 a.m. performing daily chores. Marie the cook is doing her part as well in the open-air kitchen. Even though they've been abandoned by their parents, these children are considered among the fortunate ones in this land of overwhelming need. We're going to go to the University of Miami Field Hospital. Karen Bolchi is a London native who has dedicated the last 15 years of her life to helping the people of Haiti. It's serving my fellow men. It's uh, the Haitian people are poor people, but they're also very proud and very happy and very determined too. So, and they appreciate the help they get too. So. Anybody that's come here to Haiti to help has, has seen that. Besides the orphanage, Karen has initiated a number of outreach programs. Her clinics have become more frequent since the quake. Wound on her left leg needs bandage change. Hospitals aren't really functioning because there's many that are damaged and clinics are damaged and just to be able to help with medical care in some way. That's what we've been doing since the day of the earthquake. There's always a beehive of activity here at the orphanage. On one side, you've got the medical staff. They're dealing with the ill. And across the yard, the Canadian military has shown up to repair a wall damaged by the earthquake. The Canadian troops have heard of Karen's good deeds, and they want to return the favor. We have to drill holes and put rebar in there. In addition to our job that already keeps us very, very busy in supporting the troops, uh, this is very much on a voluntary basis that we come out here and do what we can for the population. But no haven is completely safe. The effects of the January 12th disaster were felt even here. John Eddie Alexandra lost his two best friends that day. Sometimes I'm sad, sometimes I'm happy too. When I'm thinking about Samuel and Millie, I'm sad. By looking around, you can't help but be overwhelmed by the sadness here. But over time, you realize that the people of Haiti have a common bond and a strong determination to live through this nightmare and survive. There are already, you can see changes on the streets. People are trying to live their lives again. So the, the Haitian people will per persevere. The Haiti earthquake was one of the deadliest in history, and those who survived will never forget it. Now, as the rebuilding begins, they're praying the global community they depend on the most for support won't let the memory fade. In Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Nick Paparella, A News.